Oh no, this guy swallowed it. Oh, this thing must be massive. Still taking some line. Weird. Hey, you gotta be putting the line out. Seven. Yeah, I got one out, but I got it pretty nice and tight to myself. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I might bring it in closer in a bit once the Apello starts showing up. Just wanted one out, and you know, just in case that or early morning bite. Yeah, you never know. Oh no, this guy swallowed it. Shucks. Drew, you got a bunch? Not yet. Come by me. I'm swing by on this side. And then we'll spin back around on that pile again. Let me just chuck these three baits I got on the deck for you. Uh, I got like, I don't know, 12 or more. 
go fuck around when you find him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks, brother. All right, let me give you a shove. Yeah. Watch that line. Shove it off. Okay, I'm gonna spin around the other side. Oh. I got you. Okay. Oh, Let's spin. Straight down. Okay, we're good. Now. Okay, we'll spin. Spin back. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, let go line. Release your bail. Okay, you're good. Just got baited. I just got baited. Yeah, something just killed my bit too. Being sneaky with some single hook florals today. The Opelu. Trying to get that Shibi. Haven't had one in a couple of months and I know they're running. Kind of bothering me. Any of you guys use like two different reels and you have one that's way better but somehow the one that's a lot junker is the one that catches much more fish. Fishermen aren't superstitious at all, right? Put out that junk reel.
pretty bouncy. Good sign. Some big runs too. See a lot of other marks with it though. Not too far, so if you need anything, just let me know. Roger, thanks, bro. Gotcha. Too bad I didn't see any marlin jumps yet. Like halfway through it, but not. Oh, I think I saw something jumping out there. He's towing me straight out. All right, I'm gonna tell you. I won't get too close to me unless you need me, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll keep you in sight for sure. Thanks, brother. Let's not lose him. Tired yet, buddy? No? Finally gaining a little ground back. Have that guy on wire? No, straight floral. That's why I'm taking it so slow. Yeah, no, I hear you. Only, only 52. Yeah, take your time, man. I must have corner of the mouth hooked him, though, or else that bill would have broke this already. Yeah, that kayak acts like a drag system, so it helps you out a lot. I'm at 8.05 now. Still got a bunch of line out. He's quite a ways in front of me, so I haven't seen him on the fish finder or anything like that yet. Feels like he's uh, easing off a little bit. Maybe not. If this is a marlin. Too bad he didn't put on more of a jumping show. Oh, still taking some line.
I'm at uh, 9.45 now. Uh, think about... Hmm, let's see. 20 minutes? 23, 2 minutes into the fight? thousand feet of water now and he's still swimming straight down on me down and out I guess God, this thing must be massive ah. Ah, he's still just towing me up some line here and there but he keeps taking it right back dealing with big boy yeah I'm at like 1050 now yeah I was gonna say I'm at 600 so you must be uh must be pretty deep looks like a bird pile forming around me right now Oh. Sorry for all the clicker mess guys. I feel like the clicker has it keeps the drag just a little bit tighter than when it's all the way off. Two feet out. Thirty minutes into the fight. Eleven twenty-five feet of water. Seems to be coming up now. I think he's moving, make, making his way up. No sense rushing him now. Malolo. Twelve hundred feet. Still towing me out. Hopefully he's getting a little gassed. I am. <laughs> Uh 
Oh, wind's picking up a little bit. Swells too. Oh boy. We're about 40 minutes into the flight now. At uh, 1265, 1265 feet water that is. This guy just keeps towing me out. Getting sporty out here. Whoa. <laughs> Thought he was going to fly right into me. Thirteen hundred feet of water. Still taking line. Still haven't seen him in the fish finder. Normally I have like a hundred and fifty feet of top shot. So I'd know if he's at least that close. I don't think he's that close yet anyway, but I don't know, I got all chopped down and I only have about fifty feet left or so of top shot on here so I just used it as 50 feet of leader instead tied with a FG knot oh, he's coming up a little bit here let's go guy you gotta be a little tired I'm on big boy I'm at a 1340. You still got me in sight, Drew? I'm right behind you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I got you, man. When they start going outbound, some of these guys stay with somebody, you know what I mean? I appreciate it. <laughs> What are we, halfway there? Almost. Oh. Wow. Still taking line. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Amazing.
Oh, what's up, buddy? Unbelievable. He gave me some line back, but now he's taking it all back again. Of course I got him on the junk reel. Every time I swear. <laughs> A junk reel is so much luckier than the good one. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> so let him tow you around for what, like an hour? Yeah, it's been uh, right at 50 now. Oh. Give me some lime back, baby. Oh. Oh. Swells are kicking up. Yeah, you know what that? There was a couple I was It's amazing how they still fight this long. Still bouncing? Yeah. It's more like beats than bouncing now, but. Yeah, yeah, like boom, boom. Yeah. I know it's not a shark anyway. Oh!
nice. Look at that Damn. Big thanks, friend uh, Ryan Torres, new friend. Just met him at the dock that day, really, but he was there holding our kayaks together when we were trying to move the fish over and take out all the gills and guts. And he um, he came through huge with some awesome video that uh, that wouldn't have happened because my my camera died um, halfway through the fight, probably lot more than half, but it's such a long fight and. Um, fully intensive so I had no time to switch off to a different battery or anything like that um, uh, thanks to my normal buddies fishing Max, Elliot, wish you guys were there that day and um, mostly uh, thanks to my wife and kid for letting me go out there and hang out <laughs> uh, not be, being at home being a dad and um, yeah, it was the most fortunate experience of my life. I doubt it'll ever happen again. Um, and I really can't fathom how unbelievably lucky I was to experience.
watching and um, take care. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like.